I'm gonna take a few minutes here and show you this uh, trailer hub kit that Smith has put together to keep in your in your truck uh, just for emergencies. Uh, what's fantastic about it is it's it's super super heavy duty. Uh, there's, it's not. Don't think that because it's an emergency kit, it's some light duty thing just to get you to a service station. It is not. These are full replacement kits, uh, just as strong or stronger than, than your existing. Uh, this saved my butt uh, three times over the last, I'd say, three or four years. Uh, the worst being just getting across the Chesapeake uh, Bay Bridge Tunnel and having a wheel fall off as I'm launching the uh, So I'm going to show you what I got in this kit. It's got everything you need here. It's all sealed up in plastic. Open her up. You have a complete hub with all your bearings and everything packed inside and sealed, ready to go. Also in the bag you have an extra dust cover. Extra set of lugs and a cotter pin. And with boats today getting bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier with four stroke motors, uh, you know, a $50 kit like this can save your day. Keep a couple of these in your truck. I'll show you how easy it is to install. Okay, if you want to be careful with these to get them off, you want to reuse them, that's fine. But the kit does come with a new dust cover. Let's go ahead and pop this off and see what we got. Okay. From here out, it's just the same way you would go ahead and change your bearings. Okay, once you get your cover off, just take a rag or paper towel, go ahead and get your grease off so you see what you got. This is a, a, a slightly newer style, which doesn't use a cotter pin, just has a little tab you bend down. Some have washers with tabs you bend down. We just go ahead and bend those down and, and go ahead and take our, our castle nut off. Okay, we'll go ahead and pop it all, our old hub off. And we'll drop that right back in the box. Save our washers. Clean rag and wipe the spindle off just so we can inspect it. If you want to go as far as spraying a degreaser in there and cleaning it off thoroughly, you can, you can do that too. The main thing is to get the big chunks. Any, any broken metal, bro broken piece of the race or any of the cage that holds the bearings, you don't want any of that metal in there. Yep. Everything looks good. We're gonna go into our, into our Smith kit. Pop out our pre-packed hub kit, ready to go. Should go on nice and easy. See all the nice fresh grease, everything's packed in there. We go ahead and put our washer back on, find the flat spot. Get that on there, push that in good. Get our castle nut. Snug it up. Get as far as we can by hand. And we'll get our channel locks. And we're going to go slow with this so we can feel it snug up, tighten up the hub. You can just see how much more heavy duty this is than the one I took off. Just looks so much better built. And actually, once I all four bearings uh, wore out on me, and I replaced them all, this is the last one to replace, I haven't had to replace any of the other three that came from Smith. This is the only one that was left over factory from the, from the uh, trailer company. And once I finish this one, it'll, I'll have all Smith kits all the way around and I'll feel very comfortable on my long trips. Keep going, okay, just snugged up. What we do is we get it where it's snug and we just back it off just a little bit to where it lines up with the tab. Bend the tab out and we're good to go. But you can see only a few pumps and that thing is I completely filled that spindle. You wanna fill the entire spindle if you can so you don't have any air in there. Any air can hold water and believe me, water will find a way to get in there. I'll go ahead and overfill them. These, you can't blow out any seals or anything, so I like to pack them really good. Of course, if it lasts for a couple years on my boat, it'll last n normal lifetimes on, on an average boat. Don't be stuck on the side of the highway and ruin your entire trip over something as simple as this. This is a very high, high percentage for failure. Eventually, your bearings will go. 
I doubt it's going to happen in your driveway or at a, at a machine shop or at a garage. It's going to happen probably on the way to or from. Could be 3 in the morning on the way back from a trip and you're stuck. Definitely find out what size hub you have on your, on your boat or your camper or your, or your travel trailer. Uh, go ahead and order a few of these. Put them in every vehicle that you will tow something. I mean, most of these I found were less than 50 bucks. For the entire kit, bearings hub, I mean extra lug nuts, just having extra lug nuts can help if you lose a couple of lugs. Have a good tool kit in your truck, have all the stuff you need, have a few of these, put at least one in each tow vehicle you'll use. Hopefully you won't have to use it out on the road, but if you do, you're ready.